all and welcome to the latest Craft Mania Sunday Showcase. I'm Jamie and I am going to be your host today as I take you through the incredible world of CD-ROMs. Now if you haven't seen a CD-ROM before, basically what these little gems mean is that we pop these onto your computer, whether it be a laptop like the one you just see or a proper PC, and you can print millions of papers, as many as you could ever dream of, off of one of these CDs. Now the good thing is, is each disc has on it between 400 and 2,500 printable images based on the pictures you see. Uh, they have complete mixtures of bits on the discs, but we'll chat about that more as we go through them. But some have got decoupage, toppers, uh, tea bag folding, inserts, pop-up boxes, you name it. There's a little mix of everything on these. So we'll chat more as we actually look at them in depth shortly. But I'm going to give you a little flick through the titles so you can see what's coming up. Now the discs I'm showing you should be £14.99 each. But as they're on offer, they're reduced to just £6 each. So that's just £6 per design. Now the first one we have is Once, Once Upon a Christmas Volume 2. We then have Treasured Teddies. A Touch of Elegance, which is obviously quite a nice Art Deco one. Uh, wildlife Adventure, Adventure, sorry. Uh, Woodland Birds. Best of Breeds. And then the Best of Breeds Sketch Designs. Now those are all of your six pound designs. So there's seven in total for you to choose from. Now, of course you can buy these individually. Uh, you can just tell us which ones you want in the comments. If you're watching on YouTube or Facebook or Instagram, etc. Or you can of course pop online and order them. We'll post them to you if you wish to, or you can click and collect and have them collected from a store. If you pick all of them, if you can't choose as we go through today and you simply want to cash in and get all of those, you're more than welcome to. And by doing so, we will also give you a free one. If you do buy all seven, which will cost you £42, we're also going to give you this one, which is The Story So Far by Pollyanna Pickering. This one is actually meant to retail for £29.99 and you're going to get it completely free. Meaning that you'll be receiving £134.92 worth of CD-ROMs for just £42. So it's going to be an incredible value on this week. As you can see, you're nearly, not far off, saving £100 if you buy the Mega Bundle. So that really is probably the best saving I think we've ever bought to you. And they really are wonderful. I've got so many bits I want to show you. I believe we're actually close to 30 cards this week. So I'm going to have to be quick because I don't want to keep you here forever. Um, but what we're going to do first of all is show you the essentials kit. And then I'll take you through how the CDs work and what you can do with them. So your essentials kit this week is worth £18.21b. It's yours for just £12. So in your essentials pack this week, you are going to get two A5 cream cards, two mint green, two light blue, two white, two pink, two red and two green. And you'll quickly see these being used throughout my samples today because they really are lovely, just strong cardstock that we can do so much with. I know we, we're starting off with them just as an A5, but as I'm sure you're aware, we can fold them and cut them and crease them in so many ways and create so many different card blanks with them. But if you do just want to use them as they are, why not? They're a good card size to work with. You're also going to be getting a packet of our waterfall mechanisms. Now these are normally worth 99p, you get three mechanisms in there and I'll be showing you those in use on some of my cards. You're also going to be getting 20 sheets of the actual card or paper stock that you need for printing your images onto. So this is a matte printable paper which is going to give you a really nice finish for it if you do wish to print off all these bits off of your CDs. We're also going to be giving you a packet of eight flowers as well, so they're going to be in there. You're also going to get three rolls of foam tape, two white and one black, and these are two millimetres thick, two metres long, so six metres in total. You're also going to be getting three peel-offs, so we've got one gold dotty line, one black loopy line, and one gold glitter swirly line. Again, you'll see them on my card shortly. So um, bear with, and we'll show you what they look like. You're also going to be getting the envelopes you need for all of your cards. Obviously, we can't give you cards and no envelopes. And then we're also giving you lots of ribbon. So you're getting a metre of our really nice beige with a black edge, a metre of our brown, a metre of the green, a metre of the thin tartan, a metre of the thicker tartan, and a metre of the gold. 
Once again, this um, Essentials pack is worth £18.21 and it is yours for just £12. We do have very limited stock on these this week, so please, as always, don't miss out if you do want one of them, get them where you can. A couple of the items we genuinely have been stuck on getting enough of them to do as many as we normally do. So if you do like the look of that, get in while you can. Okay, so let's have a little look at your CDs so we can chat to you a bit more about what they do. So I have a laptop set up here already. Now I've been very naughty and I've stole this from our computer shop. I don't know if you're aware, but we actually own a computer shop in our family as well. Uh, it's AB Computers and it's opposite our Great Yarmouth store. I'll pop their um, Facebook address on our description. So if you haven't found them yet, you can pop along and find them. They're really good actually. I know they're family, so obviously that sort of makes me slightly biased. But they really are great and they'll certainly help you with any technical problems you're having. And they have a huge stock of new computers, used computers, laptops, ink cartridges, everything you could ever want. And the good bit is, is which is half the reason I'm telling you about this, is if you do have a Craft Mania loyalty card, everything you purchase in AB Computers, you can actually collect points on your Craft Mania loyalty card. So it doesn't matter if you buy a new ink. Um, new ink cartridge for a couple of quid or a brand new computer for several hundred whatever area you're at you'll get your points so it's a good way to fill up your craft mania loyalty card so okay back to it let's have a little look through this this is the wildlife adventure cd now i'm not going to go on about these too much but i just want to show you the idea of how they work so you don't have to upload anything to your computer you literally just pop the cd in and it will open for you it should all open automatically this is what you're going to get on your screen. And now these are all of the different pictures that you can choose from. So if we start off by going for the panda, because that's actually one of my favourites. If you click on the panda, we'll hear it kick in and it'll open up to this. Now this is all of your different sheets. So this is just page one showing you some of the options you've got. So as we can already see, We've got layers, we've got toppers, we've got borders, we've got little text sentiments, we've got these ones down here which are, are ready to just cut and stick on a card. You've got border elements as well. We've got these really nice toppers. Or we can click next and that will take us onto our next page, giving us more toppers, more um, decoupage elements, big and small, little sentiment bubbles, uh, more toppers across the top here. And then if we click next again, this one, we've got our sort of sentiment sheets, which there's loads of them. So every sort of sentiment you could want is on here. We've then got twisters as well. So if you want to layer them in a twisted fashion, you can. Postcards. These I thought were quite good fun. They're little calendars printed onto tags. So you can cut them out and put the, a ribbon through them or a, a ring and um, have different calendars on them. Moving forward, we have all of our different background papers. So as you can see, quite a, a huge selection here. And then if we carry on, you've got tiles with alphabets on. Perfect for creating them frames that the world's crazy about at the moment. A couple more background papers as well. And then as we continue on, we've got more sentiment panels. And then here, this creates a little box. I'll show you them shortly. But again, if we... Oh, is that the, oh no, last one, I believe. And then this one, we've got more parts to our box inserts for your cards or you can use these as the front of your cards depending on what you're doing and then these i love i've actually got some of these printed and i'll be showing you these in a moment these are really a4 sheets big sheets that you can decoupage if you want to we could use more gift bags we could put them in frames loads we could do with them and then borders at the end and then little tabs to put on the back of the cards if you wish to now it doesn't matter which one of the pictures you're looking at here which one of these, every one of them opens up and gives you the same options. So if we click on the little monkey at the end there, I'll, I won't take you through all of them again, but we'll just see quickly how every one of them gives you all of these options once again. And quite nicely, which is worth mentioning, the background papers, you tend to just get them in different colours. So if you didn't like the colours of the background papers that went in with the panda, pick them from another animal and use them. You don't have to stick with the colours that they are. But there really is just, as you can see, so much. When you think you're getting all of that for every single animal on our little sheet here, there really is a lot on them. That's just one of the discs. Um, towards the very end of the video, I'm going to show you what you get on your freebie disc. This one is jam-packed. This one's got even more on it than any of them. Don't forget, this one's actually meant to retail for £29.99. So that gives you a little idea of just how much is on here. They feel 
it's worth double the amount. So it's a really good one to have. But all of the discs, all seven of the others that we're, we're looking at today, pretty much work in the same theory. Some of them have even got cutting files on them. So if you've got machines that do that for you, there are bits like that on there. Some of them have got tea bag sheets as well. Lots of them have got editable inserts. So if you want to write on your own inserts before you print them so that they match, you can do. There really is a whole host of bits on these. Um, but at this price, I'm sure by now you're sold. You just want them, don't you? And we can't blame you because at six pound, genuinely, truthfully, we actually looked these up to see if we could find them cheaper on a very well-known auction website. And we couldn't even find them on that second hand at this price. So I'm sure with a bit more digging, we might have turned something up. But you really are getting a bargain at six quid. This is a good time to get them. So let's have a little look anyway. Enough of me telling you what a bargain they are. Let's show you what you're going to get. So this is the Wild Adventures CD. And as I said, I've printed some of these off because it's much nicer looking at them on a sheet than it is on a computer screen. So these are your large format to keep These are the A5 ones. So obviously we've got two images on that sheet that you could, as I said earlier, we could put them on gift bags on the top of your boxes to match. You could put them in frames and layer them. You could just cut them out and give them as a poster. Loads you could do with these. So that's your A5 version. If that isn't big enough, here's your A4s. I think these are just beautiful. I do have a bit of a thing for pandas, I'm not gonna lie. So I'm possibly just seduced by the fact it's a panda. But I think they're really nice sheets to be able to have. But obviously we know that a lot of you make cards and you might want slightly smaller. So this one's designed either to be used as the outside of your card or of course you could make it into your insert if you wanted to. So lots of options with these and as you see on the pictures on there, several options of that as well. Now to give you an idea of some of the other animals on here so I don't just um, appear too biased with my pandas. We also have a lion running across the beach. We've got a leopard up in a tree. We've got a wolf howling at the moon. Oh, these are your calendar tabs that we spoke about. So that's a little idea of how they look as well, just to give you a little heads up. Then we've got, oh, these are some of the ones. I'm, I don't mind these, but I'm not as sold on these as the individuals, but they're good if you want to make quick cards. This is just like a, a quick card template, so you can cut it out and stick it on and you don't have to layer all of the bits if you don't want to. But of course they do give you all of these different backing sheets. So if you like the idea, you could actually layer it properly if you wish to. Or why not, if you like the look of the flatter versions, or you're thinking of postage, go for them. They're not that bad. We've also got our lovely tiger. And I love the shape that this one's in. Again, you're getting all of your animals on in that shape too. Then we've got our little monkey. And again, some sentiments going on with this one too. Lots of different shapes as well. Some zoomed in, some zoomed out, which again gives us quite a lot of options of what we're going to do with them. Then we've got this one with our postcard. I quite like the postcard. I haven't got a card in this set showing you the postcard, but I have got one that's coming up and I'll show you that soon. Then we've got another version of the wolf. So this one obviously is a decoupage sheet for you to cut and layer if you wish to. Then I've done another one of the big sheets just to show you that the other animals are available in big too. Then we've got circles, we've got a postcard of the elephants, I do love the elephants as well. I never really count myself as much of an animal person till I do a job like this. And then I realise just how much I love these pictures, they're beautiful. Then we've got one of the sentiments printed out, one of the really nice damask backgrounds. Again you get this in lots of colours on this CD, so it's a good one to get, it's one of my favourites. Then we've got lots of just general stripey bits, some flowers, some more stripes. Another one of them damasks to show you a different colourway, another stripe, and another text one. So these are just a few I've printed off. But as you can see, if you even if you just imagine you just had them to play with, think of the options that we could create with this, let alone all of the other stuff that's on there. You really are going to have hours and hours of fun. So today I've made three cards from this CD. So I'm not going to talk about them too much, just a quick run over. So this is your decoupage of your tigers. I've, as you can see, I've printed it and layered it three times. I've also stuck some flowers and your ribbons on from your essentials back. We've got one of them damask papers in the background and it's just matte and layered on a seven by seven card. This one is one of your A5 cards from your essentials pack. Uh, again, just layered. This is one of the smaller decoupages and then you've got one of the little text bits off of your sheets as well. Again, we've got that same background in the background, um, but just in a different colourway to show you another version of that as well. And then we have got a panda one too, because I really do like my pandas. So this again is one of the panda ones layered, 
background paper again is from your, your disc so another version of that and then we've just added some flowers which you're going to get in your essential packs and a couple of die cuts I've truly kept my cards quite simple today because I wanted to try and show you as many of the options as I could do. Um, but if you if you wanted to do more with them, if you want to dress them up more, there's nothing stopping you from doing that. You could do many more highfalutin things with them if you wish to. So this one was your Wild Adventures CD-ROM. Uh, that one is only six pound as they all are it was 14.99 and if you do wish to order it it's code wild so if you're ordering by text by phone uh, facebook youtube instagram or twitter please tell us the code wild and we'll know that's the one you want and we'll have it held for you okay moving on to your next one and so lots of these to get through today so i'm sorry if i'm rushing a bit but if not we're going to have you here all week so moving on, we have our treasured teddies. Now again, code for this one, code Teddy, was £14.99, now only £6. So for this one, what I've done is I've printed the teddies that you're gonna get. So lots of options here with your actual teddies. You can see a few of them on the front. Every teddy opens up like the one we just looked at on the, la on the laptop. Gonna give you lots of background papers to coordinate with each teddy and sentiments and bits like that. But I wanted to show you the actual teddies. So first of all, we have our teddy in his lovely leather jacket. Then we have our teddy in his big coat with his lovely little scarf on. Then we have our teddy with his little satchel. Now, of course, this is the large sheet, so you might not want this big, but there are smaller options as well. Then we have our little army teddy, which I think is quite cute too. Then we've got our little teddy in his waistcoat, very cute. Then we've got a little girl teddy with her little baby doll. And then just to give you an idea of some of the other bits that you're going to get with this, this is another one of them sheets where you can create a whole card using one sheet. So the idea is what they've done for you here is if you cut this out, that's your card front. You've got items to layer on the top, matching flowers to decorate, sentiments and bows, so it all ties in in one go. So all you need is this one sheet to make a card is their idea, which actually works out quite well. I haven't done that with this set, but I have in a couple of sets time and you'll get to see the idea and it is really lovely. So it can look quite nice. I've also got some background papers in this one. I've only printed one of them. You're going to see some more on my cards. But I really like this sort of lace netting design. And again, you get that in several different colours. So you can choose which style you want to go for. One of the things this um, CD does is it also makes little posy boxes, they call them. So this is quite cute and I quite like the idea of these. The lid just comes off. You can decorate the inside if you wish to. They recommend if you want to do the inside to just send the sheet that you print the template for. Or it's actually all printed and shaped for you. But send it through the printer with a different pattern on the reverse of it and you'll end up with a lined box but it tells you that in the instructions. If I don't make any sense, don't worry. You also get several different versions to go on the roofs of the boxes as well. And again, every teddy has an option. So if you don't like this teddy and you prefer the, the one in the coats or something, you can do that instead. Showing you some more teddies. This one is our little blue coat teddy. Again, uh, he is already printed onto his little topper part. I've just cut him out and layered him. And then behind him is another one of our printed papers again comes on your cd i've also put these onto a blue card which again is in your essentials pack and then you've got some ribbons in this one as well our next card this one i quite liked it um reminds me of many things i don't know why but yeah i, I like this one so this is our little fireman teddy again you're going to get lots of options for him this is the smaller decoupage one so if you didn't want them as big as the the first teddies I show you, you can go smaller. Again, I've cut him out and layered him up with just some foam pads and some foam tape. And then the paper in the background, again, comes off of your CD. So they really are everything you need is, is pretty much here for you. All you need to do these is some layering card. And that's on a big eight by eight card to give you an idea of size. This one is the biggest card of the day. This is actually a free sheet of card folded in half. So the front of your card is actually obviously A4. This is another one of the teddies that you're going to get on your CD. And this is the large one like I show you all of the others printed out earlier. It's the same size as that one. So you can layer it if you wish to. Again, you're going to get your damask pattern and your stripes on your CD as well. I think this CD could be very popular. I know I would buy this one. I'd buy all of them in fairness, but I definitely want this one. I do actually have a bit of a, a, a teddy collection. I don't often confess things like this, 
but I have a bit of a stife fair thing. So I've got a few stife bears, sadly not enough. Only half a dozen, but I'm always looking tied to my collection. And this really does remind me of them. So it's certainly one that I'm quite a fan of. So that was your Code Teddy CD-ROM. Was £14.99, now just £6. Moving on, let's take you to our first dog CD-ROM. Now we have two dog CD-ROMs for you today. The first one is your best of breeds. Now this one is more like photographs of dogs. The one I'm going to show you in a couple of discs time is more sketches of dogs. So do be aware that this is code dog. The next one will be code sketch. That's how we're going to differentiate between them. So do be careful when ordering if you're not going to go for all of them. If you want all of them, who could blame you? We, we, we certainly wouldn't. Uh, but this is your best of breeds one. Now I'm terrible with dogs, so we're just gonna brush over them very quickly in titles. And I'm just gonna tell you, this is pretty dog number one, and this is pretty dog number two. Because if I try and guess the names, I'd, I'd have you were all night. So this is your first one. It doesn't really matter what way I show you. This is lovely, I really like this one. I think he's so cute. And it's quite a nice picture to use on men's cards as well. I know we often struggle with them. I will show you a card made with that one shortly. Then, I know these, I believe these are the West Highland Terriers, but I could be wrong. I'm getting a nod from my camera lady, so I'm somewhere near right. Again, this is a sheet where you can just cut them out and layer them if you wish to. We've got borders, we've got matching flowers, sentiment bubbles, the whole lot's going on on that one. This one is a Cavalier King Charles, I know this, I grew up with these. Uh, so this one's tea bag folding, so yeah, I don't know how we're going to see the pictures, but they're hidden in here. So we've got our little Cavaliers in there. And that's for tea bag folding if you wish to. Again, you get that option with all of the different dogs. So there is lots going on. This again is a card in one sheet. So on here, you can actually ed edit the text, say whatever you want it to say, happy birthday, thinking of you, whatever. And then you've got your background and border pieces and some little decoration bits to go with your animal of choice as well. So it really is, again, a bit like the ones we were talking about earlier, a card in one. This one I think is lovely. I love the way they give them to in different sizes as well. It's going to save you resizing them and playing about with them. Just print one sheet and you can store all of the other ones for when you get around to using them. But pictures this cute. I don't think you're going to need to store them too long, are you? They're so lovely. Then we have another one of them card in one sheets to give you an idea. And then this one's good. I quite like this as well. And I've, hopefully I've got a few of these to show you. The pictures also come in a sketch format. So this is a sketch version of it. Um, you're going to get a couple of different ways you can pick between these, but this one's just a basic sketch. Now I thought you might like to colour them. You could use them as black and white if you wish to. Lots of different things we can do with them too. This one is like a large backing paper. And they even have the little dogs popped in the little circle down in the middle there, or in the corner. So if you wanted to use it as an insert again, might be a nice idea. Backing papers here of all over footprints, or paw prints I should say, not footprints. Um, again, you get lots of different colour options with them. So lots of you could pick from depending on the colours of the, the dogs and that that you want to work with. So to give you a few ideas of bits I've made with it, that's one of our ones that I said come off of one sheet. So this is one printed sheet. So you're going to get your background, your border bit, your two different pictures. And then I've just broke it up with some green and red card. There's actually a piece of ribbon underneath this part as well. That ribbon does come in your essentials pack. So it's a good one to have as well. Matches in with that quite nicely. And um, I think he's lovely. I think that's a beautiful picture. And even when this printed off, I thought they were a bit heavy. But as the card come together, I felt it actually worked quite well. So hopefully you do too. Then we've got a twisted one. Now this one I kept really simple. Just lots of layers. This is your twisters. So if you do like the idea of the twister ones, that's a little idea of how they're going to look when they're built. And uh, it actually has the edge around it already. And I've just layered it on some purple and white card. And then I've just left it simple in the inside. But of course you have got all of them insert bits. So if you do wish to use your inserts, why not? And then to show you again, we show you this card from that dog. We've now got another one. So this one's actually cut these out, um, made these shapes for us, I should say. So they're easily cut and it gives you the look as if you've been die cutting when you haven't. They're just so easy to follow and easy to cut out and give you that effect quite nicely. The paw print background paper is also on the CD as well. So if you like the look of that, again, that comes in a couple of different colours. So you can just tie them in. Again, good for inserts. And then, oh, oh let's show you the last one from that collection. These are different. These are cards with stands. So you actually get two parts. 
Uh, you can join them if you want to. Again, if I didn't until I printed it realise this, but you can actually edit this and pop on whatever text you want to. You could attach them at the top with a brad if you wanted to. You could pierce a hole in the side and attach some ribbon. You could put them onto an acetate card instead if you wish to. Lots of options with these, but it also gives you the little stand as well, so it'll actually stand on them. They've been quite creative in what the things they've been doing for this CD, I, I, or all of them really. We've also got a little bag, and again the bag comes in several options depending on the dog that you wish to have. So the little bag is quite easy to make. It also has the option of a little flap coming over the top of it, or you can cut the flap off and pierce the holes that are marked, so you can put ribbon through it if you prefer. We also have another one of our little posies boxes. So again, just trying to show you how you can use the whole sets here. So we've got our, our same dog on our poses box, on our gift bag, and on our little topper. So you really could go to town and make some really lovely sets, especially if you're somebody that's selling at craft fairs and bits. This might be a really nice way to up your sales slightly by offering a matching gift bag or little box to put their trinkets in as well to go with their cards. And not only that, this is also worth letting you in on. I didn't start making all of my cards till nine o'clock this morning. I finished at five. So from nine to five, I'd made 23 cards, several little boxes, several little bags, and a few other bits along the way. So if you are somebody that's gonna be doing these for craft fairs, I haven't put as much care and attention into them as you might, but it's certainly a very quick way to turn around quite a lot of cards. Um, might work out a bit better for your profit margins, hopefully. Okay, on to our next disc. So this one is a Christmas one. This is our Once Upon a Christmas Volume 2. So code for this one is code CHRISTMAS. Again, it was £14.99, it's now only £6. So let's look at the cards first of all to give you a little idea. So we've got our little posies box to go with this one. I love the picture on the top of this. I was so excited when I found this on the CD. Um, I just think it's so pretty and it, it I, I don't know, it just really makes me think many silly thoughts of like they're all ganged up together to celebrate Christmas and um, yeah, I won't let you in too much on my nutty thoughts, but I did love that picture. So that's our little posies box. This is our big card. Now this is a, a gigantic one and it's a shaker card. Basically, I'll show you a sheet in a moment that prints off similar, but in the background here, this blue scale sheet is actually A4. And when I printed it, I really loved it. Again, it goes back to the same imagery, so I really liked it. And I wanted to use it on a card, but felt whatever I did with it was going to hide it or look a bit too plain. So all I've done is created a shaker box. I put a sheet of acetate over the top using your foam roll around the edges. The actual box is nine by nine, if I remember correctly, um, ready for your acetate to go in it. And then I've just added these die cuts over the top of it to just tone it in a bit. I've also added some glitter to the back of my sheet as well. Never forget, if you, if you want to dress the sheets up a bit, you could certainly use glossy accents on them, glitters, gilding polishes, gilding waxes gilding flakes if you do if you do want to add some more details to your sheets as well so that that was just glitter and then i put beads in to make my actual shaker element so quite an easy one to do and then obviously you could decorate the inside a bit more if you wanted to bow through the edge to keep it all together and we've got a quite a large simple card moving on to our next one this one's an easier one now this one again is using one of your green ones from in your essentials pack so them colors really do come in quite handy this picture, again, is obviously on your CD. It's one of your larger decoupages. And again, it's all the collection of animals. I really love them. I'm convinced they're all talking to each other. It's um, a bit nuts, isn't it? So I'll shut up. Uh, but it is a lovely image, nonetheless. And uh, you can layer them quite easily, quite quickly. Add in more if you wanted to. You could certainly glitter all of these bits as well if you wanted to. We could have layered the middle bit more as well if, if we wanted. So lots of options with that one. And then our last card from this collection is one of them all-in-one sheet ones. So you've got the background panel, the baubles to layer on top, the bit to layer in the middle, the bow is also on there for you to layer, and the sentiment. So one sheet and you've printed all of the components you need. On top of that, all you want is your layers. So your card blank and your layers. So that really is a very quick card, very, very easy to do. And hopefully it looks quite good. I quite like them. So let's have a little flick through some of the pages I've printed off of this CD just to give you an idea of what you're going to be getting. So that's the same imagery as what you've seen on top of the posies box and the blue scale in the really large card but of course if you do want to keep it as a, an image like this this is the smallest version 
of your decoupage sheet, but there are larger options as well, so you can go bigger if you wish. We also have another one of the one sheet designs to give you an idea of this. Again, this design opens up into lots of other elements, so don't forget that just I'm showing you these. Every image I show you, every different change in image, has hundreds of options to it too. So there's another one. And then we've got another twisted one on that one. A circular layer one for this image. And then we've got our donkeys on a small decoupage. Different donkeys on a large decoupage. And then this is one of the sheets like I've used in my shaker card. So I just thought that was beautiful. To think that was just done off of a printer. And by the way, I haven't told you this. My printer's a NAS and it's getting old and I only use copy ink cartridges. So it isn't like I've got some highfalutin luxury printer hidden away. I truly wish I did, um, but sadly not. It is on its last legs, my home um, printer. So it's time I went and got a new one, I know. Uh, but it, it, they really do look lovely and it's no trickery on my behalf. I haven't popped out to a proper printer's halfway through, I promise. Uh, this one again is just a nice text background. Then we've got a nice stripey one, a nice bauble one, really nice swirly one. And again, although this is a Christmas one, hide the holly bits with the odd sentiments and ribbons and bits. You could use that all year round. Another one of our text ones. This one I thought was beautiful as well. Quite a modern Christmas, so quite a lot we could do with that. It doesn't have to be used with all of the pictures. You could certainly use these time and time again with your dies or your stamps. Another just sort of gingham background as well. It's worth mentioning that at this price you can't go wrong, even if you just fall in love with a couple of the background sheets and you want the ability to be able to print them time and time and time again without having to come into store and buying papers and papers and papers. It's going to be so much nicer. I know often I craft in the middle of the night and wish I'd got a sheet here or a sheet there. Well, this solves that because you can just pop on and print whatever you want to match whatever it is you're doing. Nice little idea. So that was your Christmas one, don't forget, code Christmas, now only £6. Moving on to your next one, we have got code elegance. So this one, we're going to start going through your, your cards, that's your actual disc. So as you can see already, we've got quite an art deco theme going on with this one. So let's actually show you the image from the front first of all. So this is your card using the image on the front. This is the larger one of the images. There are smaller options as well. We've popped us onto a pink card, you're going to get your pink cards in your essentials pack. Your background paper again is one of your options on your disc and then we've just layered it on a couple of bits of card. On to your next one, this one's one of our layering ones. So all of this is already done for you, all you've got to do is cut them out. Background in the here is again one of your sheets, so is the border piece going through the middle, all comes off your discs. And then on to our last one, proper card for this collection. Again, we've gone for one of the biggies. This one does have a hint of Christmas on it as well. So if you are thinking Christmas, we all are at this time of year, it has got a couple of Christmas ladies on there too, so that you can certainly use them to make quite nice cards too, hopefully. Again, this is one of your large designs. And then paper-wise, your papers also come off of your CD. Your ribbon and your peel-off are in your essentials pack. And then we've just stuck on a couple of layers of card. Obviously, this is on a red card blank as well, and that is in your essentials kit. So all together in there will really help you get on with this, won't it? Uh, then we've got another one of them little plate stands going on in the background. So again, this is one where we've got the two levels to it. I haven't joined mine once again, but you certainly could do if you wish to. Lots of different ideas of what we could do with them, I'm sure. And then let's have a little flick through this one, because again, there are lots of options in this one. So here is one of our, our other designs of our lady. Let's show you the big one. So we've got a little dog and, and lady out in the wind. Got another Christmassy version of our lady, so a green coated Christmas lady. Then we've got her at the beach, just in case you thought Christmas was getting a bit too much. Then we have them out on the balcony. And again, these are just showing you a few of the different ways you're going to be able to get these images. So all of these images I'm showing you will come in every format you're seeing. So for instance, like this, your, your orange ladies will also come in that set as well. And your green coated lady will also come in that set. I'm sure you've got the idea by now. These I really liked as well. These are black and white images. So you can print them in black and white or sepia or sketch or solid, if I remember rightly. So lots of options for them. I quite like the black and white, I thought they were quite nice. Another one of our ladies, different design again. This one's on a plate stand. This is one of the outside lines, so different lady again, showing you just the outside lines. Then we've got another lady on our sepia background. 
Then we've got another black and white one. So hopefully you're seeing all them different options I'm talking about with these. This is another one of them one card ones. So I've actually taken the border off of this one for this card. Um, but it, is, it did have another border across the bottom of it. And then you've got all of these elements and the flowers. This is a background I quite liked. I didn't get to use it, but I did quite like that. Reminds me of some very expensive papers we do actually, 12 by 12s, which are 129 each. So to see this and the ability to print that time and time again, just off of your disc, when all you've got to pay for then is your ink and your paper, to me it's a no-brainer. This one again, really lovely one, nice little hidden butterflies on here. Not something I necessarily expected from this CD, but thought was quite lovely. And then quite a nice red and green tartan one with a nice sort of art deco flourish to the edges. Perfect for layering them Christmas pictures up as well if you wanted to. Once again, just as a little reminder, these are literally the tip of the iceberg for what you're getting. Every disc has on it between 400 and 2,400 different printable sheets. So I'm literally showing you, what, 20, 30 maybe at the most? There are literally another 370 odd options, minimum, per disc. So you're going to get so many more choices than I can show you. On to our next disc. Now this one is code Sketch. Now this is your second dog. So as I said, we've got two, this is going to be a sketch dog. Again, we're back to me trying to guess dogs, so we're going, to, we're going to avoid that. But I do know a couple. We have our pug sheet. So we've got our pugs in our little um, rectangles. We've got pugs on card panels and borders ready for you to just layer. Then we also have them again smaller. Then we've got a Labrador at the back, showing you a few different options with him. I quite like the little text bits on them as well. And I, I don't know how we were going to pick this up, but even the text bits are printed onto what looks like textured paper, but it isn't, it's just ordinary flat paper, but the way they've printed them gives them a textured look. And I thought that was quite lovely. Then we've got a sheep dog with some sheep and a little, West Highland Terrier, I'm guessing. Oh, I don't know. I'm, I told you I'm terrible. And then we've got one of these down here as well, our big wolf. Start up. What do they call them? They're huskies, aren't they? That's right, huskies. I promise you, I'll study up on this before we do this again. If I ever bring you animal dogs again on CDs, I will, I will try and do my homework. Paper-wise for these, lots of backgrounds as well on these. And I love these. How gold does that look? Doesn't it look really golden? But it is at least, again, just printed on my very naff home computer. Um, but it looks like it's gold. We've also got a blue version of that. Again, these sort of stripy ones, you get lots of colourways of them too. So if you like that look. And these sort of um, fading in and out ones, you get them in lots of colours as well. Oh, here's another one to give you an idea. And then there's also these. I thought that looked quite expensive. Quite liked our little check. I don't know how well we were going to see it. There's like a little gold line around all, each of the checks as well. I thought that was quite nice. And then we've got another little background panel as well for that one. So let's show you a few of the cards I've made with this one. So we'll start off at the front here. This one's just a free panel one. So we've got some of the different papers going on from your, your backgrounds, obviously, and then all your different pictures. I've left this quite simple, but you could add more if you wanted to, more sentiments and bits as you go. Ribbon again comes out of your essentials pack to give you an idea of how that will look when it's used. And then on this one, we've got one of our little pulleys. So this is your waterfall mechanism using your sheets as well. Just layered onto some lilacs and sure pearl. And then in the background, we've got another one of them stripy papers. I really did like that, didn't I? It's not until I look back at this point and I see just how many times I've gone for them. Um, this obviously is one of your darker ones as well. And uh, another one of our twisted pictures for this one. And some more ribbon just tied up in a bow on the side here. I really have kept them all quite simple, as I'm sure you can see. But again, lovely CD. Lots of options on that one. And um, I'm trying to remember how many that one's got on it. I, I think that one's another one that's got several hundred. So you really are going to get lots and lots you can do with these. Don't forget, this one is code Sketch. Because they're not photos of dogs, they're more sketches. We're going to refer to this one as code Sketch. So again, it's only £6 if you do want to go for that one. Moving on to your very last option. Hopefully I've still got you. Hopefully I haven't um, confused you too far with which ones to go for. This one is going to be your sketchbook collection of birds. So the last one was sketches of dogs. Don't forget, this is sketches of birds. And this one is code birds. So you don't have to use the sketchbook. These are just birds. It was £14.99. It's now only £6. Now, let's just take a scan over some of these to show you some of the different birds you're going to be getting. We've got kingfishers down here showing you some of the different tabs you're going to get with them. 
Then we've got pheasants and owls. There really is loads going on on this one. And it's again, a really special CD. And good for men's cards again. I, I, once again, we, we often hear people are struggling for things for them. Some of these pictures could really work quite nicely for them. Sentiments again at the back here, uh, you get lots of options with them. So uh, they'll tie in nicely with the colors in your pictures. And then a couple of different background papers to show you if I can part them. We've got a nice leafy one. We've got another damasky one in lilac and another damasky one in a beige too. So again, quite a lot in that one. Lots and lots of options. Again, several hundred different sheets you could print from. But let's show you a few of the cards I've done. So this one is using the postcards. A lot of the CDs have got the postcards, but I wanted to show you a different use for them. So I've put one side of the postcard, one part of my ad state, and the, the front of the postcard on the other side. So it's literally sandwiched between, or sandwiched acetate between them to make up the front of my card. I've used paper on the inside from my disc as well. And then I've just added some of the flowers from the essentials pack, some ribbon and a couple of die cuts. So it's quite a simple card to do, but I'm quite into my acetated fronted cards at the moment. And um, that's just a different version for you. Moving on, we've got this one, a bit heavier with our Kingfishers. So again, quite a nice one for your men's cards. Paper in the background could obviously be changed for something else if you don't want flowers. But we've got, this again is off of your CD. So is the little band that runs through the middle. And then of course, we've got more flowers from your Essentials pack as well. And again, one of the cream cards from your pack. On to our next one. We've got a white one this time. So this is your white card from in your Essentials pack. And we're again on one of our waterfalls. So more of your owls on that one. Again, sentiments from in there. And then on to your last card I'm going to show you today, another acetate fronted one. This is one of them panels that, as I said, could be used as an insert or the outside, whatever you wish to. Acetate over the front of it, added on our little bit down here and our ribbon from in our essentials pack. So they were all of your different CD ROMs. That one, again, don't forget, was Birds, was £14.99, now just £6. So you've got seven different versions to choose from. You can, of course, buy them individually. As I've told you, you can, you can order them via Facebook, YouTube, Instagram or Twitter by um, just letting us know the codes that you've gone for and we will have them held for you in store for up to seven days. If you wish to order them online, you can do. They're all on our website and we can post them to you anywhere in the world. Uh, it doesn't matter if you live at the end of the road or the other side of the world. If you are going for international shipping, have a look at our frequently asked questions page to tell you how all that works. But if you are going to treat yourself and you want all seven, then you are going to be able to get your hands on our free CD-ROM. Now this is the story so far by Pollyanna Pickering. This one's got loads on it, absolutely loads of different bits. Several of the characters on here are ones you're going to be getting inside your um, other CDs. But there's quite a few bits I can show you which you're going to be getting just on this one. So this is the, the disc itself. So we can see on here you're getting the wild birds, the World Wildlife, British Wildlife 2, Christmas Companions, Snow and Ice, Countryside, Christmas Moments, Best of Breeds, A Winter's Tale and A Walk on the Wild Side. You've also got an extras tab down here, which if you click that, see where that goes. You also get lots and lots of different tabs to go with them too. So lots of options in there. And then every one of these, if we just click this one, so. I don't know if you see that clearly enough. This is your wild birds. If we click that, it opens up into all of these options. Don't forget this CD is worth $29.99 that you're gonna be getting for free. So if we click that one, for instance, you can see here you've got decoupage sheets, insert sheets, backing papers again, but every single one of them toppers that we click on. So if we go for this one, for instance, this is your Christmas one, all of these again will open up and give you loads more options. So again, we've got topper sheets, uh, insert sheets, decoupage sheets. The, again, loads and loads of options on this one, just hundreds and hundreds of, of images. This one is not available individually. We cannot sell it to you separately. It is only available if you go for all seven, but you will get it completely free. So this will be your mega bundle. Your mega bundle will consist of all eight DVDs in total, or CD-ROMs. It should retail for 134 pound 92p, but it's yours for just 42 pound. So it's saving you nearly 100 pound, not far off is it, nearly 100 pound. And of course, at 42 pound, you will also get free PMP within the UK. So you could have all of that lot worth over 134 pound sent to you completely free of charge for just 42 pound. 
simply couldn't be beaten, could it? What a bargain. Hopefully, this is something you're going to really like and go for. Don't forget your essentials pack. Let's just give you a quick flash at that again. Um, once again, your essential packs are very limited in stocks and we really don't want you to miss out on them. It is going to have your card and your paper in it for your printing on as well as all of your other bits you need. Your essentials pack is £18.21 worth of stuff and it's only £12. Hopefully you've enjoyed watching today. I hope you have. If you did, uh, please subscribe to us on YouTube, give us a thumbs up and a share, and I will see you next Sunday when we have another brand new Sunday Showcase for you. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.